Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager at Law MacArthur Ford. In this video, we're going to talk about the 2016 Ford F-150, the XL trim model. Now, this is not a review. Uh, there are some great reviews out there on YouTube, uh, so do check those out. Uh, this really is just uh, for the, the F-150 buyer that knows they want an F-150, but they're not sure how they want it equipped. So we're going to go over the XL, what's standard on an XL, also some different packages that you can get, and some different optional equipment that are available as well. So we'll go ahead and get started on the 2016 Ford F-150. Okay, first we're going to talk about is what's standard on all the, the trucks. Um, we are going to talk about the different cab styles and such. So the F-150 is available in a regular cab, super cab, or super crew. Uh, of course, regular cab is your two-door. Your super cab is your extended length bed. Some, some other brands call them the extended cab. And then your super crew is the one with the, the full uh, four full-size doors for you. So uh, those are different cab configurations. Now the regular cab and super cab are available in the six and a half foot bed or eight foot bed. And the Super Crew is only available in the five and a half foot bed and the six and a half foot bed. Uh, so do, do keep that in mind. Now all of them are available in either a two wheel drive or a four wheel drive. Uh, the four wheel drive will come standard with the four by four shift on the fly with the neutral towing. So if you're wanting to be able to have a vehicle you can neutral tow, uh, you might want to look at a four wheel drive because that's, uh, that's a capability you can do that with behind a camper, a motor home and that kind of thing. Uh, so to keep that in mind. Now there are four engines available and I want to go over those because there's a misconception on some of the EcoBoost engines uh, and uh, what they're capable of. So uh, the standard engine on all the F-150s, uh, even the XL, is the 3.7 V6 engine. It gets 250 horsepower and 280 foot-pound of torque. Uh, it also tow up to 7,600 pounds. Now the engines that are available even on the XL is you can get a 2.7 liter V6 EcoBoost engine. Uh, it's, what's great about that, it has the auto start stop technology. So as you're coming up to a stop uh, and you're fully stopped, it's going to go ahead and shut the engine off. When you let your foot off the brake, it's going to start it up again. So it's a great technology. I drove one for a while. I really like it. Uh, it's a great way to save some gas. And what's great about this is that 2.7 liter V6 still has 325 horsepower and 375 foot pound of torque with the towing cap capabilities of 8,500 pounds. So that's like towing another truck on a trailer. So it's quite a bit, and so most of your fifth wheel campers and your um, conventional tow campers are gonna be under that, that uh, poundage. So uh, if you're looking for that, uh, this is gonna take care of all that. And most of the time you're gonna be driving around the city and you're gonna want that, that EcoBoost engine to save you the most on gas anyway. Another engine that's available is a 5.0 liter V8 engine. A lot of people will choose that engine, especially for towing. Uh, and that one gets 385 horsepower and 387 foot-pound of torque. Now comparison, that's only 12 uh, more torque, uh, p uh, pound foot of torque than the 2.7 EcoBoost. Uh, but it does tow up to 11,100 pounds. So if you're looking for a lot of towing, you have that bigger uh, trailer that you need. It's almost 10,000 pounds, then that might be the engine for you. And don't forget the 3.5 liter uh, V6 EcoBoost. That one has the most towing of all of them. Uh, and so you might look at that one. That one's 375 horsepower and 425 foot pound of torque uh, and it'll tow up to 12,200 pounds. So uh, that's a lot of pounds. That's getting into super duty territory. So uh, uh, plenty of power on any of those engines, uh, but that, that pretty much covers those. Also uh, on these, uh, you're gonna have the advanced track with roll stability control. So that'll really help you uh, on these, uh, keeping it on, the, on its wheels keeping your on your intended path. So I've uh, covered most of the things on the uh, mechanical, mechanical uh, things of the F-150. Now I want to cover the exterior on the XL. You're not talking about the exterior. Now, the base uh, XL truck uh, has uh, all these uh, exterior features that I'm about ready to cover. Uh, here in the front you're going to see the, the black three bar grill uh, with the black, uh, they call this the nostrils, as well as the uh, black bumpers. 
And the four-wheel drive is going to have your black tow hooks as well. So uh, pretty much uh, what you're seeing here, that's what's standard on an XL. Uh, and we're going to get in a little bit uh, onto some other ways to kind of dress this up and make it look a little nicer uh, and pretty cheaply. Uh, so you can uh, look, look for that. And one thing that's really neat here in the front of the vehicle is you have halogen headlamps, but they have the automatic on-off uh, headlamps so it's really nice you don't have to it's the set it and forget it type uh, headlamp so that way you don't have to worry about when it gets dark it's going to go ahead and turn those lights on for you and, and when the light comes out it's going to turn them off so that's a really nice feature to have to go along with that is the uh, rain lamp so if your wipers are activated if you turn your wipers on because it's raining it's automatically turn your headlights on uh, which is really great because in Kansas I know that's a state law that if it's raining you need to have your headlights on so that's a nice feature there as well now coming around uh, Standard wheel on most of your base trucks are a steel wheel. What's great about this is it is a steel wheel, 17 inch uh, steel wheel, but it's silver painted. So it looks a little nicer than your black uh, wheel. Uh, so it just kind of dresses it up a little bit. And there's some other available optional wheels we'll get into in a little bit uh, that can go along with that. Now your mirror is gonna have a black skull cap on it, uh, manual glass, of course manual fold feature. Uh, but it does have the integrated blind spot mirror for you though, that's, which is really nice. You can see a little bit easier in your blind spot. So uh, uh, that's, that's your mirror on the XL. Also, you're going to have your black door handles uh, for you and your black tailgate handle as well. And coming around, one of the standard features that's really nice, of course, your standard gas tank is a 23-gallon gas tank, but you can get an optional 36-gallon extended uh, range uh, fuel tank if you want on these. Uh, they're going to come standard with the Easy Fuel Capless Philidor. We've had that for years, but it's a great feature because you don't have a cap to worry about. So you just uh, open it up, put it in, fill it up, and then when you're done, just shut it. So it's a, it's a great system. Uh, Ford's had it for quite a while. Now coming around to the back to kind of end our exterior features, of course you're going to have your black bumpers here, just like your front bumpers. Uh, also, it's going to come standard with your uh, towing package uh, with the where you can do your bumper pulling. So uh, it's, it's, it's set up underneath there uh, to be able to handle that, that payload like we talked about. If you have the 3.7 3 liter, you know, the 7,600 uh, pounds of towing capability. So you, it's ready to go for that uh, behind the bumper. So. Uh, next, we're going to cover the interior of the vehicle and show you what's standard on all XLs on the inside. Okay, moving to the interior of the vehicle. Uh, of course, uh, what you're going to get here, standard on the flooring is your vinyl flooring, uh, floor covering. Now, we have some other things we'll talk about a little uh, later, what's optional on, on some of the floor covering. Uh, so your seats, standard seat is a cloth seat. So a 40-20-40 split bench seat is your standard seat. Um, so real nice. What's great about this is you have different capabilities. This bottom seat rest will come up and you have some extra storage down here. Plus you can, uh, there's some cup holders that are turned around in here. You can turn it around and close it. Now you have a couple cup holders as well. Another thing with this is this middle seat here will come down. And now you have an armrest with two more cup holders and a nice place to uh, put a cell phone. Uh, so that's, uh, that's real nice as well. Um, so the two, two outbound seats can enjoy a little armrest in between us. Also, of course, you're gonna have manual seat for both the uh, out, set, out two seats here. Uh, they're gonna, it's, a, it's called a manual two-way, basically up, up and back. Uh, no lumbar on this is the standard uh, seat configuration. Manual windows, manual locks. Also, I already talked about your, your manual uh, mirrors as well. Um, now your tilt, your, your steering wheel here is tilt and telescoping. So not only is it gonna go up and down, but it's gonna go forward and back for you, uh, which is really great so it'll fit. Even the shorter drivers uh, will be able to, to get just right in that. Uh, and then the screen here is the 2.3 inch uh, productivity screen in the instrument uh, cluster here that you're gonna be able to enjoy and kind of go through those, the different settings for you. Uh, also, uh, your screen here in the middle of your uh, instrument panel is the uh, 4.2 inch um, and that's going to have your audio uh, controls as well right there where you can control your AM, FM, uh, stereo right there. And the speaker system in this is you get four speakers with the regular cab, six speakers with the super cab and super crew. And it's a standard uh, um, audio system here. Also electronic climate control for everyone to be able to enjoy as well. Of course, I mentioned your four-wheel drive is going to have your shift on the fly here too. Uh, so I pretty much covered uh, all the... Uh, features here on the interior. Uh, now what I want to do is cover some of the uh, it's a package called the 101A package. It's your mid-level package and there's some nice features I think you're probably going to enjoy on that. They're uh, mostly interior features. Okay, next what I want to talk about is a really important uh, feature and 
option that you can have and that's when you go from the XL base the 100A package uh, you can add some other features if you go to the mid the XL mid is what they call it the, the 101A package and that gets you a lot of the features um, that you're a lot of people like plus with those features you get some other standalone options that are available only on that that package Now, what you get with that is the power windows and power locks so that's the biggest features power windows and your power lock features what's great about that is to come along with your power locks you just get your power lift gate or uh, the tailgate is going to lock for you as well um, and then to go along with that you're going to have your keyless entry with the flip key instead of just this, just the uh, the regular key so you're going to have that keyless entry system as well uh, which is really nice uh, to go along with that the power features with that you're going to get your power mirror so you're going to have your manual fold power glass uh, mirror though so that's a nice feature to have so it gives you your, it's your power equipment group also to go along with that you're going to get your cruise control uh, to go along with your uh, tilt telescoping steering wheel uh, uh, that gets added to that uh, with that package and you're going to get the Microsoft Sync technology uh, so and that's going to be also right here by this, with the steering wheel and to go along with that communications you also get the redundant um, stereo controls too right here with the volume and being able to switch through your presetting uh, channels right here as well uh, so you're going to get all that uh, to go along with that your instrument cl cluster uh, in the middle of your, your speedometer and your tack is going to go from a 2.3 inch to the 4.2 inch, so the same size as your in your center stack here. Uh, so that's really nice. It's going to also add your compass in there along with it. So, um, so some pretty nice features I think you're going to like. Also to go along with your AM FM uh, stereo, you're going to get the CD player as well. So that's all that's all part of that 101A package that I think you're going to like. Uh, also to add to that, you're also going to get the the box link system, and that's the uh, the hooks that are in the back. We're going to show you right now. Uh, that's going to show you, give you those hooks so you have that capability of doing so much more with the, with your bed. Uh, so, so it's a great package to have. And when you go to this uh, 101A package, then you have the option to go from that 40-20-40 split bench seat to the seating configuration you see here, which is a front bucket seat with this nice flow-through console. Uh, it's a big compartment. You can put a laptop in there. I mean, really big. And then you have some extra compartment down here as well that's lighted up. Uh, and plenty of power points. You have um, one here as well as down in, inside there so uh, nice cup holders and and also uh, compartment here as well so a uh, real nice system here that is set up um, and that also sets up for some other things on the outside of the truck that I'm going to talk about next okay now we've talked about the 101A package that XL mid-level package when you get that then you can get some other packages and one of those that's really nice is adding some appearance uh, differences uh, for you on the front now they did away with the STX and your FX4 trim levels uh, completely, but what they did is they added a XL Sport appearance package. Uh, pretty much it's, it's like your STX package. So what you get is you're gonna get your body colored uh, grill here. This, this front area is gonna be body colored now, and you're gonna get your body colored bumpers. They're also gonna add uh, front and back bumpers, and you're gonna add your fog lights as well to that. Uh, and over here on the side, you're gonna get your 17 inch alloy wheels. Uh, so those are some things that are gonna, they're going to add to that sport appearance package. So it really looks like the STX package. Uh, now the other option you can get is an XL Chrome appearance package. And the only difference between that and the sport appearance package is your bumpers are chrome. Uh, that's the only, the only difference between those. So uh, some, some couple different options for you. We really like to order a lot of our XL trucks with the 101A package. In fact, when I was looking, the only uh, vehicles that I could find the 100A package was the one you saw in the video earlier was just a regular cab. Most of our Super Cab and Super Cruise we order with that XL Sport appearance package because it just looks so nice uh, and we have a couple with the Chrome appearance package but that's a, that's a package you probably want. And some other options that you can get is on the mirror. So we talked about earlier you get the 101A package you get the power glass uh, with the mirror but you can get a nice a nicer uh, mirror from that. You can not only that you can get a power heated glass mirror also with the integrated, you can get the, the spotlight, the LED security approach lamp that comes with it, and your turn signal indicator on the outside, and you can even get the LED spotlights. So it's a great mirror configuration if you like that, and I think it even also comes with the auto, auto dimming uh, driver's side mirror too, so that it, it, you know, at night when those bright lights hit that mirror, it doesn't really just, just kind of alarm you there. So uh, that's a great mirror configuration. It's a standalone option on the 101A package. Uh, you'll need to get that because it has to have the power mirrors. Um, so you'll need to get that. So some other op standalone options you can get is your running boards here like you're seeing on this truck. Uh, that's an, a standalone option you can get. And you can get, just like you're seeing here, uh, you can get the nice 
um, privacy, the power sliding rear window with the privacy glass on these side windows as well as the back with rear defrost. Uh, now this actually is tinted windows that we put on the vehicle ourselves. Uh, we like to, to do that so whenever we get an XL in and it doesn't have that power sliding rear window, we go ahead and tint the windows just because it just doesn't look right without it. So um, that's something that we do here so that's an option. Um, now there's some other th uh, things that you might want to uh, like getting. If you're into towing and you have some other options, hey I want to make sure it has this or this or this, I'm going to go over some towing configurations next. A couple things when you think about um, some things that along with the bed of the truck and the towing capabilities uh, is a couple options that are really nice and one of those is you can get a box sidestep. Uh, this truck doesn't have it, in fact we don't order it very often, uh, but it is a step that would be uh, right here beside the bed and you would just pop it open so that, that way you can get into the back of the bed uh, nice and easily. Uh, some people like that, but that is an optional equipment uh, on both, both your trims on that, either the 100 or 101A package. Uh, which is really nice. Now the other one is you see on this truck is the FX4 off-road package and that's going to get you the skid plates and your decal uh, so that that protects you if you're a farmer and such and you uh, need to go out to the field a lot that might be something you might want to think about getting is that the FX4 package. Uh, now you can get skid plates as a standalone option if you don't want the decal uh, that's an option as well uh, that you can get. Uh, now some other packages you can get uh, that, that belong with the truck is you can get the tailgate step uh, which is really nice. Uh, I wish I, I had a, a, a truck on with this on it in an XL that you could see, but the tailgate step is different in the 15, 16 model year as it was in the 14, and that is it's really it's, it's inside the tailgate, not on the outside like in the, in the 14 model year it was, uh, which is really nice. It, it pops out of there real nice and easily and hides in there, uh, so that's a really nice uh, feature to get if you're wanting to get in and out of the truck. Uh, nice and easy. Uh, also you can get these uh, LED spotlights that you just uh, turn on right here for the, the bed lights and it lights up the beds. Uh, they come in handy especially in the evening if you're uh, hauling some stuff. Uh, that's a real nice option to get as well. Now trailer tow package, that's probably where here I just really want to tell me about that trailer tow package. Uh, pretty much that package uh, comes with the uh, smart connector uh, for you so it kind of reads and lets you know on the inside of the truck uh, what trailer you've had, you can, uh, there's a lot of configurations that go along with that. Uh, that you also get your 4 pin and your 7 pin wiring to go along with your nice class 4 uh, hitch receiver as well. Uh, now with that you're also going to get a upgraded um, front stabilizer bar and you're going to get auxiliary um, oil cooler as well and so that's a real nice uh, setup and you can get the optional well, it's not optional. It'll come with the uh, trailer tow package if uh, you have the 101A package. You get, also you have to get the rear view camera, but you'd get that pro trailer backup assist. And that's something that is, is new for 16. I think you're gonna like it. and basically helps you back up the trailer. So but it uses your rear view camera and a dial on the inside for you. Uh, so you can just back that thing up uh, just by using that dial. So it's a real nice system. Uh, we will do it in the future. We'll be having a video that, to show how that's used. Um, we, I can't wait to do that and film that for you, um, but we will have that. Now some other things you can get is the Max Trailer Tow Package. Uh, and that takes that trailer tow package just a little bit further and first thing you have to do is you have to get the 3.5 liter V6 EcoBoost because you are looking to get that Max Trailer Tow capabilities. Um, and to get, add with that, you're also going to have to have uh, that rear view camera because you're gonna, it's going to come with that um, Pro Trailer Backup Assist. Also it's going to come with uh, the uh, integrated trailer brake controller as well, so uh, that's a really nice feature to have. Uh, another uh, feature to go along with that is your mirrors. Uh, if you have that max trailer tow, you have that bigger trailer you want to tow, and that max trailer tow mirror takes that, that mirror configuration I mentioned, which gets you the power heated glass, the, also the security approach lamp, the turn signal on the outside, the auto dimming driver's side uh, rear view mirror. It's also going to turn it to a, or it's a manual telescoping mirror too, so it's going to telescope out for you a little bit. So that's a, a nice configuration to have. So there's some great options for you if you're towing, uh, so we don't want to leave you out. Even on the XL, all those are optional equipment that you can get on an XL. Now I've mentioned some things that go into some packages along the way like fog lights, uh, and integrated trailer brake controller and some of those features and some of those are standalone option on the 100A. You don't have to get the 101A to get some of those. So do keep that in mind if you want, hey I want fog lights but I want the black the black bumpers. Oh that's a standalone option so you don't have to worry about that. Integrated trailer brake controller also a standalone option on the 100A package. So some great, some great options for you um, and I, hopefully you enjoyed this video and it gave you some insight of how you'd want to order your XL trim. Now if you want a few other options and some 
some other things. Uh, do keep a lookout where you have an XLT, Lariat, uh, King Ranch Platinum, even a limited video coming up soon. Uh, so stay tuned for those and uh, um, check those out when, if you want to look at those as well.